Welcome to the Fundamentals of Surveying Q&A Review 2020, question number six. I'm recording this in February 2020, and I can't believe that the month is almost over. I feel like this year is just flying by, and I'm just holding on for dear life trying to produce as much content as I can. If you think February or any month in 2020 is flying by, comment below and tell us why. All right, call of the question. Your civil engineering, land surveying, urban planning firm gets a sweet contract from the military to survey some bases. Jackpot. But unfortunately, you can't collect the money until you actually do the work. So let's do the work. As part of the contract, the DOD, Department of Defense, is requiring that the data handling procedures be outlined in an appendix. What type of data format is the most accurate and what type of database will your GIS data be stored in? Because you're going to collect survey grade data, but it's going to be in a GIS. So what is your data format and what type of database will you be using? Well, we've got some options. The choose your answer states, the data will be stored as a blank in a blank database. And this is one of those questions where they're not gonna tell you two in one and two in the other. You are just going to have four, five, six, maybe even 10 different words. And you are going to have to grab the word and drag it into the correct spot. So this is called fill in the blank. And you have two blanks. Now here's the scary thing. If you get one of these two wrong, you will get zero points. You have to fill in both blanks correctly to get any points in this question. So when you have a question, a multi-pronged question like this, you need to be on your A game. Now here's the situation. You're on a military base and you have to survey the vegetation, the buildings, the roads, the signage, everything. You've even got to survey the bomb crater holes on the test facility. Well, in a GIS, you will have a buildings layer, a bomb crater level, a vegetation layer, all these different layers. And then at the end of the project, you will combine all of the layers together and you'll produce a beautiful map. And you'll deliver that map to the DOD and then you'll get your fat paycheck. But we've got some definitions that we have to figure out what means. And because there's really no great book about these definitions, I just used Google. And I Googled several key phrases, and this is what I came up with. First of all, we've got our data format. There are two types of data formats in GIS. There is the raster format, and there is the vector format. So a raster is nothing more than a series of cells. In this smiley face, I've got some black cells, I've got some blue cells, I've got some yellow cells, and I'm just gonna fill in these colors. So one is blue, two is black, and the three value is yellow. Fill in these cells, and the problem is that the bigger the cells, the coarser the data. So my left eye is very coarse. I've got big blocks, while my right eye is very fine. So the more cells you have, the greater the accuracy, the greater the precision. On the other hand, we've got vector. And vector data is a series of points, lines, and polygons. On the right side of the smiley face, we have a line that makes up the smiley face. We have a polygon, which makes up my two eyeballs. And then I have a series of points, which are somewhere in the middle. Same thing for the outline of the smiley face. That is a polygon. And so is the yellow smiley face background, another polygon. If you remember anything in this video, remember this. 
Raster is faster because it requires less processing power, while vector is corrector because you have greater precision, greater accuracy, and much less error in the data. So if you want to go fast, go with raster. If you want to go with good or very good, go with vector. Raster is faster and vector is corrector. Now we come to our next question, which is what type of database are we working with? Well, if you think about GIS, then this question is easy because GIS is nothing more than a series of relationships. We've got data that is nearby. We've got data that's touching each other. We've got one data chain connected to another data chain. So what I'm telling you is GIS is nothing but a series of relationships. And another word for relationships is relational. So the data will be stored as vector in a relational database. Every GIS database is a relational database. And once we know that, we can fill in the blanks and collect our one point out of 110 on the FS exam. Know those two topics because NCES is obsessed with GIS.